Following government's decision to rationalize the number of state agencies which appear to be duplicating roles in a bid to reduce government expenses on the entities, parliament is now repealing and amending acts that created the entities. Today, Parliament met and scrutinized the number of bills, including the Uganda National Roads Act Repeal Bill 2024, which is supposed to ensure that UNRWA is dissolved or streamlined into the Ministry of Works and Transport. With international obligation. The Ministry of Works and Transport, Jeno Katumba Amala, gave Parliament reasons why UNRWA should be taken back to the Mother Ministry. Among them was a bloated number of employees, saying UNRWA has over 1,000 staff compared to 544 employees of the Ministry of Works. In addition, the size of the boards and remuneration of the board members varies substantially. There is no uniformity. Taking co-leadership of the agencies, executive directors, heading agencies, and the permanent secretary as accounting officers all report to the minister. Three accounting officers in the same ministry. The report that was read by the chairperson of the Physical Infrastructure Committee of Parliament, Dan Kimosho, to the contrary was against the rationalizing of UNRWA. The role of UNRWA in management, development, and maintenance of national roads infrastructure is critical to performance of the works and transport sector and the country's development aspiration in light of Uganda's being a transit and a landlocked country. Mainstreaming UNRWA into Ministry of Works Transport will lead to the same challenges experienced in the past that led to the same ministry spearhead the formation of UNRWA and would necessitate future reforms to recreate UNRWA. For this reason, it is recommended that government should retain UNRWA as a semi-autonomous road this created debate among the members of parliament, most who favored the stay of UNRWA. I would urge members, honorable colleagues, that we let UNRWA stay because it is handling critical work. It is stated here that if it was UNRWA, for us who come from western Uganda, we would be cut off completely. When Rea as an agent went, uh, I'm sure many of you have the experience that the poles which were left in your villages have remained the way they were. UNRWA has done a commendable job. A commendable job because I can't see a minister talking of that you are not pretending over them. Act in the Act, National Roads Act, Clause 7 gives the minister mandate. Supervise. Some MPs called for the amendment of UNRWA Act to empower the minister to be able to regulate salaries of the employees of the agency, which seem to be creating disaffection between UNRWA and Ministry of Works. Is that the minister has all the powers to present an amendment here, if he so wishes to put the board in an alignment, so that he has veto powers provided, for example, over remuneration, over performance in contracts, it is so that we, we use the appraisal method in performance contracts of these technical officers so that the minister can hold a whip. For suggestion and proposal, and I want to request Parliament to allow me and work along those lines and come back and bring amendments on the floor. And I want, I want to advise you, ministers, it should not only be works. It shouldn't be only works. It should be across board. The ministers agreed to table the amendments within a week after consultations with the Attorney General and the Minister of Public Service. Jumakiria, NTV.